All right, in this video, this is yet another DXF fix. What I'm going to do is drag and drop this DXF in. And the reason I chose this DXF is because it's got some strange problems that you might not otherwise know. Just with it all selected after dragging it in, I'm just going to click the color red and it's going to attempt to fill. And you can see that not everything is filled. That means the lines are not connected. All the little red pieces you see are separate line segments. The only thing that is actually connected all the way are the two circles here and here. So I'm just going to click, click the X and now I'm going to hit Control Shift G which is going to ungroup all of the separate lines. So Control Shift G, I'm going to hit this like 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10. Just to make sure I've got everything. And each individual box you see is an individual line segment. And if I zoom in you'll see a whole bunch of individual line segments here. And there was another thing I noticed right at this point, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's something strange happening right here. And I'll zoom in and I'll show you. Right there, there appears to be nothing real strange happening. There's a line segment, line segment, line segment. But if I click on this one, there's actually two segments, one stacked on top of the other. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to get rid of this one because I know there's one there too. Yep, see? Now that was one of the weird things. And another thing you can do to sometimes spot stuff like that before you start doing this is actually go into the view display mode and go to the outline mode. Sometimes that'll bring other stuff into light that you won't normally see. <clears throat> but anyway, this the rest of it looks pretty good from what I can see right now. So let's get on. Let me go back to the view display mode normal and I don't like working with these colors so I'm going to select everything control A I'm going to hold down my shift key and click the color black. There. Now everything is black, which is a lot easier to work with for me. Now we're going to start with this shape down here. This is an easy shape. And what you want to do is you want to, I'll zoom in, double click, well triple click, get in the, what I call the node mode. You'll see the two nodes and you'll see when I touch this line it highlights. So hold the shift key. I'm going to scroll in a little bit more. Hold the shift key. Select that. Now you'll see where these two boxes intersect there's actually two nodes there. I'm going to do this and that's going to select both those nodes and then I'm going to come up here and it says join selected nodes and now you'll see that became one piece. Now if I click on this one now if I do this you'll see that the two lines are now connected. Oops, can't hit it. Okay now I'm going to do this one and I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to select this line and you'll see that now you see two boxes again. I'm going to select those two the same way and I'm going to hit join. Now that those two are joined, now you can see that this is one solid piece. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to hit join. And even though it looks like it's closed now, I still know that this one is not. And just to show you, I'll just do this. See, it's not joined. So I'll do that and I'll select this one again. And I'll just box around there because I know it's there somewhere and hit join. Now everything, if I pull on those things where you saw the last pieces, I'm just doing this and hitting control Z by the way, you'll see that now all four of them pieces are connected. And that these that's an easy one. So and see if I box around this you'll see it's another four separate pieces. One, two, three, four. And it's just the same process. Select it, select the next one up box around, combined, select this one, box around, combined, box around, combined, and box around, combined. And now this one should be good. I think. One, two, three, four. There we go. That one's good. Now you just keep doing that for all these other shapes until we get to this one here. This one this one will be a real pain. You can do this for this, but just make sure when you're doing this 
that you're actually selecting the next line segment. I think there was, was it, no, it's in this one. When you get down here to this corner, you might go this one and then this one. But if you'll notice, there's a big, there's a gap in here, which is, there's another little line segment right there. That's the one you want to use. And I'm going to do join. Now I can do this one, join. And then I'll continue on around. And there's another one of them little line segments over on this side, too. So what you want to do is when you select that next one, hold your shift key and as close to that node as you can get it. So you know, because if you select up here, because you figure that's the next line, but it's actually right there. And then hit join. And then same thing applies all the way around. Join. Scroll up. I'll just scroll out. It'll take me forever to get up there. And I'll hit join. And join. And then that one should be done. That one, yep, that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. Um, now there's this one. <laughs> This one would be fun. You could do this this way. You can do the click, join, click, join, click, join. Which, yeah, it works, but it takes a while. There's another way to do it that I'm going to show you right now. I've showed it in my other video, but I'll show it again here. This one's a little bit more difficult to pull off. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group. I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to not take this one. Whoops. Oh, since this one's already done, I don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'm going to do a control C, control V, and I'm going to copy it and put it over here. Oh, I, okay, <coughs> like that. Then I'm actually going to take this one. Well, first I'm going to do this. This box here in the middle, this is easy. So I'm going to do this like this. So I'm going to do shift. Well, I'm going to get in the node mode, node mode. Select those two and hit hit connect. See now this one and this one are off and I don't know if that was the intention of the author of this file or not. I don't think it was. So I'm going to pull this in. Or maybe it was, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to do it the way it was presented to me. And I'm going to hold the shift key shift. Now there's something odd going on here. What is it? Hmm. Select those two. Okay. Join. But it did pull that line back into straight, so yeah. So, and then again on this one, I'm going to select this one, hold the shift key, select that one, select those two, hit join. And then I'm going to do this one. This one. Oh, let me see. You do that one. Hold the shift. That one. Let me see. That join now. Okay, got it. So that should be good. So now I'm going to do F1. I want to select around this. I don't want to select that, but I want to group this. I'm just going to tell it path or object group. And that'll be for later because I want to make sure that I see this is 7 inches wide and 16.448 and over on here I'm going to get rid of this box because I've already fixed it in the other one. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here this takes a little bit to get used to but once you do it a few times you'll get it. I want to go over to object and I want to bring up the fill and stroke box and I want to select this whole thing and go to stroke style and you'll notice that the stroke is 0 .001. Well, we're going to change that, and it's going to look like it disappeared, but it's it's not going to. I'm going to change that to 0 .001 and hit enter. And it looks like it's gone, but it's actually still there, just really, really small pen. It's still over here somewhere, though. There, now I've got it all. Now I'm going to go up to path, and I'm going to combine the path. And then I'm going to go path, I'm going to go stroke 
to path. And, you, and then I'm going to go path, break apart. Now you'll see it's filled. Now I don't want to fill, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just click the X, which is no fill, and I'm going to hold the shift key and hit black. And I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to switch the pen back to 0 0.01, whoops, 0 0.011, enter. Now what, it, what that did is it took the pen down uh, and it makes two. It puts one line on the outside of the pen and one line on the inside. Now you'll notice that this is 699, which is not the 7 inches as intended, and it's just a scotch. And then this one is 701, which is one bigger. Now if you can live with that, fine. If you can't, what you do is you do the same process. You take this, you go down to 01.001, 01, .001, and because I know this part is already um, combined or it's already been the lines have already been joined I don't have to use that combined anymore I just use the stroke to path and then I use the break apart and then I'll go down here and hit my no fill I'll hold the shift key hit the black again and then go back over here to zero zero one oops zero one one excuse me and there we go now this is two shapes again, and you'll notice that that one's 698, and this one should be 70. So this one's perfect. So I can get rid of this one, and just for now I'm going to turn this one red. I'm going to hold the shift key and click red so I can see it. And over here on my snap menu, I'm going to turn on my snaps, and I'm going to select the corner snap, and then I'm going to take this one, and because I grouped this other one already, it should snap right to the corner, to the other corner. And now it covers it up perfectly. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit the end key, which sends it to the back. It brings up this other one. I'm going to delete that one. And turn this one shift black. Now that piece is done. That's easy. That one's done. You can tell these are not done. On these easy ones, I will do the, the single line join method. But which one was it? Oh, this one, I think, also has something funny. And I got to this when I was doing, when I was uh, putting it together. So we'll do this one, too. I'm going to do this and this. And we'll click Combined. Click on this one. And we'll hit Combined. And then we'll click on this one and hit Combined. And it's like, wait, it didn't seem like anything happened. And I was right, it didn't. It's like, what's going on here? Well, there's something funny going on with this particular line. I'm going to hit Control z put it back. So what I did is I just go down here and I grab it in the middle and I pull. And that's the problem, is because it's an actual, it's an actual rectangle. It's not a single line, it's a rectangle. And that creates the problem where it won't join, because you're trying to join a rectangle to a line segment and it won't work. So you can see that's a, a, a whole other shape and I don't know if it was supposed to be or not or if it didn't translate right in the DXF when I got it. I'm not sure. But anyway, I believe that line is supposed to be straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. I'm going to click on that node and I'm going to use, what is it? This one, right? Break path at node. Now that will break that up. And if you see I grabbed that one, that's not the one I want to grab, but it's kind of hide. So I'm going to hit Control z and put it back. I'm going to hold my Shift key and hit the cursor down once. Now I want this node, and I'm going to delete that node. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to hold my Shift key and cursor up one. That puts it back where it was. Now I can take that. Well, let me go fix the other end of this if it needs to be. Now if I take this one down here, that one's good, but I want to grab the one in front of it. So what I'm going to do is just shift, and I'm going to cursor right, cursor left rather. I want to grab this node, make sure that's all fine and dandy there. I'm going to click this one again, hold the shift, cursor right, select these two, and hit join. And now those two are joined. 
And now I should be able to select this and this and those and I should be able to join those. And now that one should be done. Should be just fine. So I'm just going to pull on these, make sure they're all connected. Make sure this is connected here. Yes, that's connected. And that's connected. And that's basically the way you do this. And here this one's got some short lines in it too somewhere I believe. It's got that short line problem. Nope, this one looks pretty good. So, but anyway, you just continue doing that for all the rest of the pieces. And when you're done, you should be able to pull it into Inkscape. Or not Inkscape, you should be able to pull it into Easel and pretty much do anything you want with it. If it says you still have a problem, find out which piece and you may still have an open path somewhere. It's easier to check. So that one's done, that one's done. You can see the circles are circles. This one's not done. I'm not going to do them all, but hopefully you'll get the gist on this. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. That's all I can say. Until next time. Later.